That's right, Aaron. And unfortunately, it being in the water, the seawater left no trace of any DNA or fingerprints, which means the head doesn't serve much as evidence. And it looks like the surveillance footage from that area won't be of much help either. But now that the head has been found, the city is hoping the Sarah statue won't be headless much longer. After the head was severed from the Junipero Serra statue in October, the old Monterey Foundation came up with a plan to replace the whole torso with a metal bar from the waist up to secure the head. But Bill McCrone says it was a costly project that was hard for people to get behind. People are somewhat put off, or were somewhat put off, by the cost of $77,000. Uh, so this will make it easier, uh, much more, shall we say, bite size, to be able to get this uh, statue restored. The vandalism came up as the organization was working on a $750,000 project to renovate the park where the statue is located. So far, they've raised over $300,000 in grants and private donations. You could give specifically to the statute or to the park, uh, and whatever comes in for the statute will go strictly uh, to, to the statute. The crime happened soon after Junipero Serra was canonized by the Pope, but DLI historian Cameron Binkley says the family who erected it didn't mean to stir controversy. The, the Stanfords were actually a little bit sensitive, as I said, to the, the fact that they might be tied to the, uh, the Catholic Church too much, so they actually bowed out at the last minute. But there was a lot of fanfare for it in 1891. It was a big deal. They had a bandstand uh, where all the dignitaries were shaded because there were no trees up there at the time. Uh, they had to, uh, as I said also, they had to uh, erect a, a small railroad to, to, ca to cart this several ton statue of granite up the hill. Now the discovery of the head came a week after the city dealt with a cross popping up at Del Monte Beach, which they decided to take down because it was a religious symbol on public property. And the vandalism of the Father Sarah statue happened soon after he was canonized by the Pope. And I spoke to the assistant city manager about this controversy behind the vandalism we've been seeing, and he says they are taking that into consideration, but the statue is a historical monument and they plan to move forward with restoring it. Erin? All right, thank you, Bianca. So the old Monterey Foundation which is the group raising money for the restoration of the statue, says having the head could reduce the cost from the original quote of $77,000 to about 15000 